Uh, it's been probably half a year since we've taken a video of the aquarium. Um, if you're following along with the thread, uh, you know, we had the, uh, the fish COVID uh, velvet go through the whole tank, um, pulled out Hercules, um, he's doing okay in the, uh, in the hospital tank, um, right up until we were ready to leave for vacation a couple days, so start treating him for a little bit of fungus, seemed to be doing fine, eating like a pig usually, um, we got a phone call when we were halfway through the vacation and um, one day he was fine the next day he was belly up on on the floor of the aquarium so came home stripped the uh, quarantine tank down and we've just been you know keeping on with fallow period um, today is August 27th uh, next week Saturday, uh, Saturday or Sunday I can't remember Sunday, Sunday is going to be 90 days fallow for this main display um, so I've noticed that some of the corals, they do look okay, um, without any fish in there. Obviously, you know, the, uh, some of the, the Kenya tree, this, uh, interesting Singularia. I don't remember the, the specific species of it. Um, these are doing okay. Obviously these ridiculous, uh, Rhodactus mushrooms are doing fine. The, uh, Recordia Yuma has actually split itself off and, it just was up over and you could see a, a little baby of it, but uh, whatever, it hasn't. Um, now you can't see it. But uh, one thing that I have noticed is the toadstool in the back. It's a Tyree toadstool. It wants to pop out, but it just is kind of really not. And I know that there's really no fish pooping in here to cause any uh, excess nutrients. Um, that and I have changed... Uh, where I get my water from um, out here at the local fish stores. I am doing something a little bit different. Um, to be perfectly honest, I get I don't do... <laughs> I've got a 220-gallon aquarium with a 75 sump, and I don't do my own water. I still get it from uh, pet stores. But it gives me an excuse to go in, look around, see if there's anything cool in there. Um, and I support the local guys, so whatever. Uh, eventually, I will be getting a probably 75 to 100 gallon per day system. I'll do a seven stage. Um, but I, like I said, I changed. I'm not going to name names, but I did change to a different place. And this neon green singularia, see if you can see it. It has really good polyp expansion, and it did not have the polyp expansion going with another place so again not naming names for anybody i'm just letting you know my experience is here um gorgonians are obviously doing great um everyone's doing pretty good in here i've got a singularia in the back somewhere it decided it didn't like the rock that it was on it was a big finger singularia and it let go <laughs> And I have had things just let go in this aquarium and then randomly show up later on, like my Superman mushrooms, which I don't know if we can see in the back there. You can kind of see them. They're kind of like right there front and center in the middle of the screen. I, I, maybe I can zoom in. Yeah, yeah it's not going to really work. They were all the way up here right next to that strawberry mushroom and they went all the way in the back and now they're upset because they're struggling for the light i don't know you know what that's your problem <laughs> i can't get you out of the back so we've got the main display like i said 90 days fallow and that will be excellent because we have a new little buddy our little imperator yes go eat, go eat something yes yeah, there's food go away he is, he's apparently become my little buddy. He comes over here, eats pretty good. He was hammering on that nori clip. That was, uh, that was a piece of nori about yay long, so probably about the length of my index finger. And he has eaten that um, in, the time, in the four hours it took us to go and do some side work this morning. Um, he's still eating. I've given him, I probably count it, the amount of pellets I've fed him, um, 10 pellets. He hammers on pellets, he hammers on nori, he hammers on frozen food. I feed him um, the LRS, uh, I think it's the Reef Frenzy or something like that. It's, it's, it's meant for angels or so. Um, he's been in the aquarium for, uh, this is my new hospital tank, it's 10 gallon. Um, he's been there a week, 
sugar? Yes. Web, yeah, a week. So two weeks, uh, make sure he has no spots on him come uh, Labor Day weekend, and he gets to dominate this beautiful aquarium. Like I said, everything's looking pretty good. Um, my local one of my local fish stores has asked me for some Pally Grand Dice because I, I guess his colony um, did or didn't do so well. I don't know, um, but he doesn't have that color. He's got some other greenish color, but I uh, got a bunch of frags growing out over here, um, and uh, I got the Codium. I know uh, I've asked a question on the forums about Codium. This stuff. Is ridiculous. I, when I first put it in here, sugar, about how long did I put this codium in here in the middle? Maybe a couple months ago? Thumbnail size. And it took a little bit to hold fast, but once it held fast, it just goes gangbusters. Ignore the Aptasia that's in here. I have tried killing them with multiple sources of lemon juice, Aptasia X. It kills off the main, and then it's like a Hydra. Uh, you know, the one head dies and 20 new form. So, <laughs> but I've got all kinds of great sea life. Uh, Stomatella snails have gone nuts in here. Um, Asterina stars are all over the place. Um, look at all these little baby, they're babies all over the place. So hopefully the angels um, leave the uh, snails and stuff alone. Otherwise, you know, they'll be restricted to the sump. Um, I got two hermit crabs. You can see one right there left over. They're still running around. Um, I don't know what that blue flickering was. Uh, it was on the phone, not in the aquarium. I have no idea what that was. Um, but, uh, yeah, every, like I said, everything's doing really, really, really nicely. Um, I was going to get a Singapore angel to start the, uh, start the thing out with, but, uh, my local guy, when I went in to pick him up, said that that morning he had decided to start eating Kenya tree. And I have this beautiful, um, neon green Kenya tree, and then this cool little singularity finger leather that is down there. It's really fuzzy. Um, the main colony that I got cut off of um, is super fuzzy. It almost kind of reminds you of like a little millipore or something like that. I've never seen that fuzzy. But anyway, I've got that, and then I've got this bigger colony of it up here. And I know Kenya tree is a dime a dozen, but it, for you know, it's it's taken a little bit to, to reach that height, and I still want to get rid of it. So if I don't need to put a fish in here, I'm not going to. The idea still is that we are going to do uh, dwarf angels. And yes, I realize an imperator is not a dwarf angel, but it'll at least start the showcase of everything and uh, kind of go from there. I think our I think our next fish that we'll probably start the cycle with will be maybe a coral beauty. Or, um, you know, she likes flames. I'm more partial to flame backs, so we'll see what happens. But at least we'll, it will kind of go from there. It's a 220. We got plenty of swimming space. Um, we can just kind of go and uh, keep a fish in quarantine um, for, the, for that. Oh, speaking of quarantine, uh, this is going to be kind of crazy. Yes, it's a 10 gallon. I've got um, live rock that's been. I don't know how old that live rock is. Didn't come out of my aquarium. It came out of somewhere else. So I made sure that there was no disease going on. And we've got sand. And the only thing that's filtering this is my weekly 50% water changes. And that, uh, that uh, Hydor Coralia that keeps the water movement going on. Thought about doing a bigger, um, big hang on the back or something like that. Just to keep it. But water quality is good. Ammonia is zero. Nitrates are zero. Nitrates are, you know... I can't remember. It's like two something or so. So really low. Um, and plus with the 50% water changes and the fact that fish are only going to sit in here for a little bit. I'm happy with that. So that's our showcase and uh, we'll kind of go on from there.